Hi my dear Flosstube friends, this is Needle Ninja. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another stitch with me. Today we'll be stitching on a pandemic. Hope you can enjoy. So this is the project I started in uh, I think July 2020. So it's been, this is already the second year and last my last upload was exactly one year before so I, I I didn't stitch on this one for a long time but now I start to stitch on it again and I'm I cannot put it down and I'm working on it with the almost like I think one week already so let me tell you about this project and let me while we stitch so I this was my this I will, I will show you how far I've got okay so this is I will insert the picture here so this is my whole project now I'm stitching on a page seven and this is like six pages completed I think and the total whole project is like 20 pages I think I'm stitching with uh, four colors these are the colors I'm using and I'm really enjoying the stitching on this one. All the geometrical parts I'm stitching with this, with this dark green color. So today, okay, and all the like birds and cute animals I'm stitching with the color number 3812. Uh, on the, all the flying things, insect I'm doing with the black and other things I'm using this light green. So let's let's start. Today we will stitch the part you can see on my pattern keeper and because I I start my thread with a loop start with a single thread that's why I cut my thread in a half because this is too long and maybe you know that I am almost all of my projects I stitch with a two two strands so the loop start is really easy so once I pick the, the patterns which are stitched with the one um, thread I need to repractice my single <laughs> single strand loop start so that's why I'm and actually it doesn't tangle so much if it's if, if it's the short thread so okay let's work on this one so it's on a grid line and because this will be the first stitch so let's do the the loop start with a single thread so I'll do it like this and I'm really thankful for for anyone any for the person who actually figured out how to do this so I will go back in this hole and I will complete this first cross and I will try to you know like catch this thread with a needle so I will like split the thread so it, it's even more more anchored and now i can cut it okay i don't think it will go off okay it's stable so now we are continue stitching this road basically i'm stitching all the half stitches first because well that's how i like to do things first the half stitches then the other leg because on my heaven and earth design project I'm basically doing just a half stitch so that's that's what is comfortable for me so let's do four of these and oh this is a uh, the, the fabric it's a 22 count white uh, hardanger and obviously I'm stitching a one over one full cross on this one so start is a loop start and how I finish my thread is 
I use a pin stitch. I used to do a pin stitch start, but not anymore because I really like the loop start. So, <laughs> it, well, it's been already one week. I'll be, I've been stitching on this project, so I'm better at it. But first, I was like, okay, how did I do that? So, yeah, took me some. I practiced, but I like pra to practice. So, and well, I didn't get, didn't touch this project for one year. But I, again, I, I think I, I said that. But maybe I am saying that about all of my projects. I just it feels so like refreshing to to do something I don't know it's I feel like it's totally different than my uh, heaven and earth designs it's like I don't know it's so I don't know how to say really I would love to find those right words but it's so smooth while well, stitching with just one color and one thread it's really it's just so big pleasure I think but then when I go back to two strands and just the full coverage pieces I also enjoy that too a lot of tracks hanging the parking it's there is a lot of action so yeah well now I cannot think about it now I'm like this is really relaxing way of stitching so let me mark this and of course um, the long dog sampler, the, especially this pandemic project, it has a lot of um, how do you say back stitches, and of course a pattern keeper will not show you any, so that's why I always have a paper paper chart next to me, so you can see that this bird is holding this this. You know, I don't know what is it, flower, but you cannot see it on my pattern keeper, right? There is nothing, so that's why I'm have it also always on my side. But one week ago, when I picked this one up, that I I forgot, I forgot that there is of course back stitching and everything and I was I think I was completing this guy and then I was doing I think something here oh, well yeah I was doing this part and looking at my uh, pattern keeper and I was like okay where is this butterfly and I couldn't find it and then I oh my god so there has to be one more butterfly next to it. So, yeah, something, something I have to be aware of. So I will, I'm planning to do all the back stitches once I finish the page with the crosses. So that's how I will do that. And I already saw so many beautiful finished pandemics. Well, I'm still like 13 and a half pages to go. But, well, I was kind of in a rush like two years ago. Because I want the pandemic to be over as soon as possible. But, well, it's been already too long and... Well, yeah, okay, let's not talk about it. So, not in a rush. I'm enjoying. 
and I realize, okay, let me mark the one line I already did, and I realize that, okay, what was I going to say? What did I realize? <laughs> okay. No, two more. Okay, I totally lost the track of what I was saying. So now I can continue here. And normally I would do that, maybe I will s stitch here more, but because I wanna stitch that little rabbit, which you can see in the middle together with you. So I'm going to just finish this part around it. Oh, uh, that's that's what I was going to say. I realized that I really need, of course, you know, I need the grid lines. That's one have to be done things. And then there is one more. I need a perfectly stretched fabric because mm, when I pick this guy up again last week it was kind of loose not not super loose but it was kind of loose because well one year is one year so I will just work to this grid line that's what I'm going to do so let me mark so yeah it was loose and I start to stitch on it and I was like okay this is not fun like the thread was kind of, I was like, it got tangled a lo lot of time and I couldn't find the hole. And I was like, oh, what's wrong? Like this, this isn't supposed to be mm, this lot of work. Like, what am I doing wrong? And then I thought like, okay, maybe. Maybe if I stretch the fabric a little bit more and I stretch it as I like it, like really tight. And I need to tell you, really, really game changer for me. So it's already a little bit loose, looser than I would like to have it. But yeah, as tight as possible. And that's when I can easily find my holes with the needle under the fabric and yeah it's really so easy stitching so yeah definitely grid lines and tight fabric so one nothing and one more on the grid line okay this thread is really getting short but see we didn't get any tangles and I think if I didn't cut my thread in half I'll be struggling with that so we're good here let me mark because I will lose I'll get lost so this is it <clears throat> let's try to stitch one more line with this thread and then let's do the pin stitch So I a little bit changed the way I do the pin stitches now. Uh, well, it depends on, really it depends on what kind of fabric you're stitching, but um, I think the way I do it now, it's, it can, uh, the thread can hide a little bit better than And the way I used to do that so let me show you this let's do this two more and because well yeah on a full coverage if you do full coverage doesn't matter when you do the pin stitch but because in a long dog samplers there are these blank spaces so as possible as much as possible you should hide your thread somewhere where there will be stitches above 
Oh no, I didn't do this one. So I see that in this line there will be stitches, so I will do one, two, and what I'm trying to do is find the find the thread, the hole which has a uh, the top top um, how do you say top thread of this of this fabric is going this way so it means the thread under is going vertically so I will put the needle here and I will stick my needle under the thread above the fabric and between the uh, well I cannot say you know this is I'll try to zoom in and then I go up another hole and do the same thing from top from up and I'm going this direction splitting the under threads so well <laughs> I don't know why well there will be a stitch above so it doesn't matter but usual ah now I pull it so see the thread is hidden better than before can I show you somewhere no I don't have any more ah, maybe here okay okay let me move my camera maybe this part can you see I was splitting the top thread like that so these are my before split stitches no pin stitches so and now I will just cut my thread good did we mark it yes we did and how about we finish with this color one more so we can go for a loop start practice again so again I'm stitching on 22 count it's what uh, the hardinger and starting with the loop start with a single thread like this keep it the tail there a little bit go up from the upper hole and pull the thread in a loop and go down through the same hole tuck it in and because it's a first stitch I would like to finish it right in that moment and I'm starting to pinch or how do you say split the thread which is hanging here and because there are another stitches next to it so I would like to secure it even more and not cut it yet the first stitch we did there was no stitch next to it so I cut it right away but in this case I will do this whole row of full crosses so there is five of them and keep this thread still hanging because I will cut it when I when I stitch the next row so definitely that thread is not going to go anywhere and one Okay, let's go back so I need to go with the full crosses here and two so now we are trying we're not trying to cover that one just just split it as much as possible and there is one more time we can do that but it's already I think it's already too much so let's cut it so here we go and two more there is my pin stitch under which we did a little while ago
see there's a thread that it came out so I will go with a different hole sometimes that's you need to do that in order to hide your thread until the end of the grid line and we will connect thread my needle usually like usually with the two strands fold it in a half squish it between my thumb and forefinger and push the eye of the needle through it okay there is a stitch above there let's make him Great, and now we go, can go back. So there's three more weeks and I'm going to fly home to Europe. And I was thinking what project I should bring on a plane and <laughs> really I don't I don't care like what kind of where I have to bring well I have to pack my son's um, clothes but really I don't care about myself I'm just worrying about like what project to bring with me that's what worries me I don't wanna no I would like to bring them all because then I don't have to be worried that what to stitch on <laughs> but that's impossible so and I'm even not planning to bring my tablet which I'm using only for a pattern keeper so definitely not going to bring the heaven and earth designs which I have to like there's lot of threads to park and it will be very difficult to do with a paper chart well I used to do that but I'm already too lazy for that so I'm thinking just something maybe Caroline Manning or something like this well this is also kind of big one so hmm let's do let's come here and start there let me mark so we're done with this block and this line also cool so yeah I was thinking about Caroline Manning or some well now I'm stitching those little tiny fine arts which I got from a Etsy shop the Nikki Nikki pattern she had a cute one so I'm planning maybe to buy a few of those and then I was also I was checking uh, again Carolyn Manning site well I don't know somehow I really I, I love her patterns so maybe I will buy something new and maybe I'll I will go to Slovakia with a new start so that could be exciting so what do you think and I bought these tiny scissors okay my god let me show you let me show you I don't think you ever saw those kind of tiny scissors look look that's it and I was like what to bring to the plane and you want to see how it, how it opens <laughs> look at it so I think I, I think you just push this yellow thing and look this there they are ain't they cute <laughs> this is like 
a piece of art, I think. And they are really sharp. They are made in Japan. This is so cute. This is so cute thing. So you just close it and pull it back. And you can actually hang it somewhere. What do you think? This is, isn't it cute? Well, I'm so happy. <laughs> so that's my cute little gadget for a plane. And yeah, still no luck with the project. Yeah, maybe fire, my fire, or the Halloween hijinks, or I don't know, the mini fine art. Well, I'm not bringing my stand with me, so I don't think I will have that kind of time to just sit back and relax. It will be like some, when I'm on the road somewhere or I don't know, really, I'm, I don't know, because my stand is really, it's kind of heavy, so. Mm. I don't know. Are we still correct? Okay, here. And I think we're stitching already. How many, how long are we stitching? Is it already long? Maybe, like, oh, I lost it. Maybe I should start my usa usagi janai. Mm, what is it? Rabbit. So let me make this line. Let me finish it. Then I will do the pin stitch, and I will just start a little bit of the rabbit with you and then I can post some picture of the finish thing because it is so cute and it will be different color there so that's kind of nice something nice for a change so well yeah my thread is still too long to to end but just well so let's find a uh, Will this be stitched or not? So now let's mark this. This is, I made two rows. This is done, good. So I can hide it in a second row. Okay, this can be it. So again, under and split. And then from above and split pull it under maybe do that again from this hole and split great it's nicely hidden okay now how about here and cut Okay, I'm picking a new color, so I didn't mark this one, but this is 3812, and let's start this little cutie together. So be careful, three from the top, one, two, three. see the thread is coming out from that hole because I last no, yesterday no a few days ago I made a mistake I, I need to frog few stitches but now it's okay so yeah that's okay and let's finish him and let's split this one good and there is one more here oh why is it making a knot don't come on no knot 
not okay definitely not there so yeah ignoring ignoring knots and the knot will even more stabilize my start thread so challenging it please go through the it did perfect now I can cut this one so is any of you ignoring <laughs> if you have a little you know like that kind of knot that you will just pull, <laughs> pull it till you can and then hide it somewhere so let's go like one I think we can pull it one more time and then that's it let's hide it and So close. So that's a nice color, don't you think? So if you have any advice uh, what to, what kind of project should be should I bring or is easy to bring on a trip well I'll be staying with my parents for one and a half months so I, I need to be kind of ready to have more than one project but what I'm really basically I will need to because <laughs> oh I don't think I told you but my flight is it's it's actually a direct flight but it's a 14 hours what do you think about it so I'll be crazy so I definitely now when I think about it I should start something new in a plane to keep me entertained because gosh 14 hours that's that's Okay, definitely something new, but there is a possibility that I will not like something new because, well, um, it almost never happens, but it could happen. So definitely something new and something old, which I'm comfortable with. But if you have any suggestions, please, 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 please let me know let me know how you how you liked my <laughs> tiny little scissors travel scissors or do you have even smaller ones mm. okay so my rabbit is mm, can we finish him let me see how many minutes I'm recording already oh sorry Oh, it's like 30 something so maybe 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 we can finish him let's go for it I don't have much talk about anymore no, I don't have much to talk about anymore I think I said everything <clears throat> what shall I talk stitch just just enjoy the sound of my needle sound of my stitching and maybe if there will be something that comes to my mind I will say something if not so enjoy
Last rose, last row. Let's make full crosses, and because there is no <clears throat> no more of these animals, so I will not use this color anymore. Close, and well, I can do a split split stitch or no pin stitch, but. I think in this case I will just yeah I can do pin stitch right or I can just flip my hoop and like hide it behind the stitches so yeah oh this is here so cute so we finished the rabbit and yeah I will just hide the thread like I usually do I don't care so it's on, on this line let's find yeah it could be here one two three four okay this is a good place under Day. so thank you everyone for watching hope you like this one too okay my name my scissors just flew around me okay great so we did let's mark this guy how many stitches we did we do together well these are full crosses so basically it's we always do have more. Oh, 146. No, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so hope you liked it. Uh, if you're stitching on Pandemic, please let me know how far you are. If you're already completed, what kind of colors you used. Mm, so, and yeah, it just thank you for watching and thank you for being there for me and wishing you all a very nice day and Happy stitching everyone, bye!